punch. Phil's in red. Mark, uh -huh. Mike Grace in a groove from the outset. Grace gets Hal Morris swinging. Then Eric Davis swanging. And Chris Sabo swinging, a swinging as well. Grace struck out four of the first six batters he faced. Bottom of the third, Jeff Branson. Grounds it off Grace's foot, but Todd Zeal is there to glove it and throw out Branson at first. Grace was not hurt on the, hurt on the play, and he's still perfect through three. Bottom of the sixth, Grace still perfect. Branson batting again, and Branson gets one off of Grace again, but this time, Zeal cannot do anything with it, and the perfect game was gone. But the rookie, Grace, kept his composure. Eighth inning, two runners on. Lenny, Lenny Harris grounds one. He's probably just happy it's not off of him. Kevin Jordan juggles it, but Vince Coleman bails him out because he tries to score all the way from second, and he's dead meat at the plate. They preserved the shutout through eight. Phils would go on a win, two zip, and Grace showed Grace under the pressure of losing his... The fourth Padres up, two zip, two one. Fernando Valenzuela on the mound against Sean Berry, and walks next batter, Tony Eusebio. Valenzuela go on walks three. him. Then Valenzuela walks James Mouton. Bases are loaded. Next up, the pitcher, Mike Hampton. No place to put him. And Hampton hits the high chopper. That's going to be trouble. Kent Kamenetti grabs it and then eats it. Barry scores. We're tied at two. Bottom of the sixth. Score still tied. Kamenetti on third. Mike Hampton pitching to Brad Ausmus, and it's in the dirt. Tony Eusebio can't come up with it. Kamenetti scores. And the Padres win three to two. At 16 and 7, it's their best start in franchise history. They've won six in a row. Caminiti went three for three, extending his hit streak to 13 games. Tony Gwynn, his first start in 10 games, went two for four. The Cubs and Dodgers in Chavez Ravine. Brian McRae singles to left with Leo Gomez on second. Coming around, and Chad Vonville's going to try and throw him out. And he looks safe, but he's out. He's out. Worth another look. Umpire Bob Davidson said Mike Piazza. Hit him on the back of the leg, so there's no score after three. Good defense in this game. Dave Hansen at the plate. Steve Traxel pitching. Mike stand. Mark Grace with a diving stab to Traxel for the put out. No score after four. Bottom of the fifth. No score. Delano DeShields got it. Delano DeShields hits a rocket to right. A solo shot for DeShields, his third of the season, second in as many nights. Top of the eighth. Cub threatening down one nothing. Mark Grace on second. Sammy Sosa at the plate. Nastasio freezes him with some wicked stuff. Tommy Lasorda says, ah, let's go get a bite to eat. Chicago's seventh consecutive loss. Scoreless top of the second. David Wells' first pitch fastball to Mickey Tettleton. Way back there. Oh, bye. Solo shot to left center. Tettleton's fifth. one nothing. Texas. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, Reese. Tied at two in the seventh. Base is loaded with Rangers. Will Clark against David Wells. They got more. Takes him to the gap in right center. Kevin Elster scores. Darrell Hamilton scores a double for Clark. 4-2 Texas. Two batters later. Roger McDowell in a pitch. Turning Tettleton around. And Tettleton just singles this time. Pudge Rodriguez scores. Texas takes a 5-2 lead. They'd hang on to win it. 5-4. David Wells took the loss. Mike Henneman got his fourth save. B.J. Surhoff, a pinch hit home run in the eighth is what made it close. His fifth home run. The Tribe and the Jays in Skydome. Hershiser facing Eric Hansen. Hansen, the leather limp behind him. Jim Tomei's grounder. <laughs> Domingo Cedeno. And after a Sandy Alomar single, Omar Vizquel singles to left, and Joe Carter comes on. <laughs> Tomei and Alomar both score 2 0 try. More trouble for Hansen in the third. Bases loaded. Eddie Murray. Base hit. Julio Franco and Carlos Baerga score. 4 0 try. They go on to lead 5 0. And the one bright spot to, for Toronto, Alex Gonzalez. Somebody playing some defense behind Anson. Robin Albert Bell, 13 assists for the Blue Jays shortstop and a losing cause. Hershiser scattered eight hits over seven innings for his second win. And the Indians 12th in their stadium in a Yankee uniform. Trouble early. Top of the second facing Dave Hollins. And this ball is wrapped. That's wrapped. Deep to the deep to left. Solo Homer, 1-0 Twins, Kenny Rogers saying a bad word. Same inning after Roberto Kelly doubles. Rogers to Pat Mears. Pat Mears, got it. Here's a curve ball. This one is lifted That's to left. ripped Carrying over the left center field wall. Almost visiting the monuments, 3-0 Twins. The Yanks struck back in the sixth. And also Paul O'Neill on third. Ruben Sierra on second. Tino Martinez on first. Joe Torre looking for magic from Bernie Williams. Oh, he fell! That's gonna be, he's gonna do it! Oh! Three grand slam. Bernie Williams. Bernie Williams, third of his career. Yanks win it 5 4. That was Phil Rizzuto on the call, by the way. <laughs> Mariano Rivera pitched three hitless innings.
Griff in the third looking to get a little offense for him. Pat Borders wants it low and outside. You make that mistake trying to go inside. Bennis gets it low. Andy Bennis, this one he would not get quite as low. Three pitches later, and McGriff grooves one. Chipper Jones would come around to score. Braves have a 4 nothing lead for Avery. Top five, Bennis to the crime dog. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Actually, that's Atomic Dog, but I like saying it anyway. Number four for McGriff, Freddie three for four, Homer two RBIs, five nothing Braves, and Steve Avery to his old pal Ron Gant, and Gant is the Sultan. He is the Sultan of swing. Seven Ks on the evening and seven innings of shutout baseball for Steve Avery, and the Braves win it six to one. Avery's now pitched 15 straight shutout innings and says he shut down the cards without his good stuff. Dave said, didn't have much of a fastball when I was warming up, but my changeup got them out, as you saw happen to Ron Gant on two occasions. Braves continue to pound Andy Bennis. He's three and 10 lifetime against Atlanta. Lou on first, David Segee, master of his domain. Third homer of the year and the Expos have a two nothing lead. Same score, top three, Montreal's hot bats continue. Mike Lansing. It's this one. Deep a solo field. job off Armando Reynoso, first of the year. Expos up 3 0. It's now the top of the seventh. Montreal up 4 1. Two out, one man on for Moises Alou. And Moises is going to click his heels together and shout Eureka! Seventh of the year off John Havy. And Expos go up 6 1. Montreal wins its eighth straight game, and that ties Seattle for the long. And Miski clicks his heels together and says, Fly I got left field down the line. <laughs> or Eureka. Or I like that. A solo homer. Game tied at two. Eureka. Next batter. Jose Valentin. Johnson. Walks him. He tells Lupinella, I've had enough. Left with lower Valentine back stiffness. Top of the eighth. Chris Carpenter pitching to Dan Wilson. Mariners back down one. No longer. Wilson singles to left. Russ Davis rounds third. Here's the throw. Here's the play at the plate. Russ Davis safe. Game tied at five. Runner on third. Top of the ninth. Fastball on the ground ball. Edgar Martinez hits into the 6-4-3 double play. That's the bad news. The good news. Luis Soho scores. The Mariners go on to win it 6-5. So Seattle has now won in all six of Johnson's start. The official word on the big unit. Stiffness in his lower back. He'll be examined Saturday. Mike Matheny homered his third and drove in a career high four runs. Scott Carl tied a career high with eight strikeouts. The A's have won five straight. The Tigers have lost eight in a row. The A's have the bases loaded on Greg Cagle. Tigers up two, four, top of the third. Jason Giambi at bat and popped him up. Chris Gomez is, I got it. And ends the A's best scoring chance of the evening. Bottom of the fourth, men on second and third for the Tigers. Doug Johns pitching. John Flaherty rips it deep to right. It's going against the wall. Eddie Williams and Danny Bautista score. Tigers lead 5-1. Let's go to the bottom of the sixth now. Tigers up 10-3. The base is juiced, and Chris Gomez hits it off Aaron Small, and there's nothing small about this. Pedro Munoz can't get it. All three runs come in. Cecil just jogging in. That's easy for him. Tigers lead 13-3. They win it 14-5. Danny Bautista, John Flaherty, Chris Gomez each drove in three runs to end the Tigers' eight-game L streak. Score top of the first. Gary Sheffield had ten home runs coming into the game. Make it 11. Two-run blast off Osvaldo Fernandez. Two-nothing Marlins. Kevin Brown enjoying the run support for a change. Tom Lampkin looks at it. Let's go to the bottom of the sixth now. And it'll four hits no Matt Williams strikes, out. Williams strikes Charles out. Charles Johnson Jonas throws out Jonas. Robbie Thompson. Double play preserves a 3 nothing play. Marlins Charles lead. Johnson. Let's lay it a little levity now. Dusty Baker trying to get the attention of one of his former pitchers, John Burkett. John thinks about waving, but psych. Dusty says, I'll wave to you. I'm a bigger man than you. And uh, all righty. Brown, meantime, cruising. Ninth inning now. Mark Carrion with the high pop up. And somebody's got to take charge here. And it's Kevin Brown. Kevin Brown makes the Marlins take the game. Then Bob Hamlin, sit on it, mouth. 11 strikeouts for the Rocket, but he doesn't get a lot of help from his teammates. Wins at Fenway, playing with the Royals right fielder, Michael Tucker. Misplays this Reggie Jefferson fly ball with two outs in the sixth, bounces over the wall. Jefferson actually didn't bounce over. He was awarded third on the play. Ruling is he would have made it there anyway. Boone didn't like it, but Tucker would save the day. Rob on Mike Stanley saves a home run. 3-1 Royals in the ninth, Jose Offerman on third. And on a 2-1 pitch, Johnny Damon, drag bunt towards second. Bill Selby, boy, the Sox have had all kinds of trouble at second base. Good effort, though. Damon was safe at first. Offerman scores what would be the winning run. 4-3. Bottom of the first, Al Martin on first. Jeff King got it. Oh, my. Deep to left field. That's way out of here. 
Two nothing Pirates after one. Bottom of the second. Zane Smith on second. Mike King on first. Al Martin laces it down the line off Chris Jones's glove, and Zane Smith comes up lame. Kingery would also score. Smith strained his hamstring. He left the game. Four nothing Pittsburgh. Bottom of the fourth. Six three Pirates. And Orlando Merced hits one out off Jason Isringhausen. A two run shot. Eight three Pirates after four. Pirates have won ten six. Isringhausen suffers by far the worst start of his major league career. Eight runs, six earned in four innings. As for Smith's hammy, said manager Jim Leland, it looks like he's going to have to go on the DL. Jose Vizcaino had an RBI single, his tenth hit in 12 at bats.